Okay, so come down onto your mat. And just sit on your knees. Place your hands in front of you and just start breathing. You can close the eyes if you want to. So just in through the nose. And out. In. And out. Okay, and to start off, we're going to do some head circles, but just semi-circles. Left and the right. Do not go very hard. Do not try to strain your neck. Just enjoy it. See it as kind of a massage for your, for your neck. Just loosening everything up. Okay, now let's go into child pose. Put your arms out in front of you and then sit back on your ankles or your heels. And breathe in and out. In and out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Now stretch your arms as far in front of you as possible. Really feel that stretch in both the side bodies and in the shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now's a good time to tap into your um, into your ujjayi breath. And if you don't know how to do your ujjayi breath, then I want you to breathe in through your nose. So, and then when you exhale, pretend like you are trying to fog up a mirror, a mirror, and just exhale through your nose again. So just be. But it sound, you, you'll hear a sound, it kind of sounds like the ocean. Okay, so from, cat, from child's pose, we're going to go into our cat-cow. So come up into tabletop, shoulders should be directly over the wrists. Feet should be flat on the ground, knees should be on the ground. And we're just going to do some cat-cow, so breathe in. And let it out, drop the navel, lift the chest. Breathe in, arch the back. Breathe out, drop the navel, lift the chest. Feel free to take any movements here. You can do hip circles if you want. You don't have to do cat-cow while you're doing the hip circles. You can also turn your palms inwards and lean back, and that usually feels pretty good. Do not strain yourself. If you feel like this is as much as you can do, if you want to um, turn your palms backward, if you want to turn your hand, if you want to turn your fingers towards your body, if this is the most that you can do and you're feeling pain, turn it back. But if you feel like you can, if you feel if you feel like that is good then keep going, but do not strain yourself. You can also turn your palms upwards. Again, if this does not feel good, put it back. <laughs> do not strain yourself, listen to your body. Always listen to your body. Okay, now we're gonna tuck under the toes, lift up to our first downward facing dog. Stay here for a minute. Your down dog should, your knees should be bent very slightly. If, you're, if your heels do not meet the mat, that's totally fine. It's okay. Lots of people don't, don't get that. But what you should try and do is you should try and move your feet in just a little bit and then see if they can get down to the mat. Do not expect them to hit the mat. Just see how far you can take them down. Again, if anything does not feel right, do, don't do it. <laughs> just do what feels comfortable for you at this point. Okay, now we are going to make our way to the top of your to the top of our mat. We're just going to step there. 
and we're going to do a half lift. So you can come up to your fingertips. If coming up to the fingertips is too hard for you, you can come up to the shins. And then we're going to fold. And in this fold, we're going to grab opposite elbows and just sway side to side in a rag doll. This will, um, this will release our lower back. And it just feels really good. Just sway side to side, release the neck. Just allow everything from the shoulders up to relax. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, and release, place the arms down on the mat, and then lift up, halfway lift. Place the palms down, forward fold. Lift up, halfway lift. Palms down, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms high, Udva Hastasana, and hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms high, hinge at the hips, and drop down like you're sitting in a chair. Now, how to know if your chair pose is good? Your feet should be firmly on the ground. Your knees should be touching each other. You're, you should be squeezing your thighs together squeezing your butt and your knees should not be further than your feet so you should still be able to see your toes and don't forget to breathe <laughs> and we're gonna stay here for five four three two one and fold halfway lift Place both hands on the mat, step your feet back to high plank, and then move into chaturanga. If you've never done chaturanga before, we're gonna follow something else. So, chaturanga, put your knees down first, then lower yourself down, do not allow yourself to um, plop on the floor, and then push yourself up into um, uh, upward facing dog, <laughs> and then back into down dog. If that is not your first time doing chaturanga, or if you feel like you don't need to put your knees down, then you would just lower yourself down like a push-up, upward facing dog, and back to down dog. Okay, so sweep the right leg up, three-legged dog, cock it back to open up the hip. So you're gonna kind of feel like you're three-legged, like you're about to flip your leg over. But don't flip your leg over, we're not going into a wild thing. <laughs> okay. Now, bring your knee to your nose and hold and step it through to low lunge. Try and press yourself forward do not strain yourself once again. Try and press yourself forward to feel a little bit of an opening in your hips. If this is too much for you, just stay in a neutral position. If you can do this without holding the ground, that's great. If you need to hold the ground, frame your foot, lift your, lift your leg up off the mat, Place your foot down on a 45. Place your back foot down on a 45 degree angle. Keep the right foot bent. Open up to Warrior One. And then we're going to open up to Warrior Two. And your gaze should be right over your. Uh, your gaze should be beyond your right fingertips. And now we're going to go into our Peaceful Warrior. So flip the palm up. Reach up to the sky and bring your leg down. You don't have to bring it down as far as possible. I'd say bring it down to the back of your knee if you can. If not, bring it down to your butt. I don't care. It's fine. It's your practice. Listen to your body. 
Okay, now we're going to go into our extended side angle pose. Place the, place, place the right arm, the right leg, and just bring the other arm up. And then if you wanted to do extended side angle, if you feel like you can do this, you can drop the hand onto the mat. And if you feel like it's kind of an in-between, take a pillow and put the pillow down. And you should feel it like in the back, in your hamstring. You should feel this in your hips, in your hamstrings. Um, and you should feel it in the side body, the left side body. Okay, come back up to warrior two. Straighten that right leg and then hinge at your hips and come into triangle. Again, you should feel a very similar sensation. If you feel that it hurts your knees and it hurts your hamstrings to do that, bend your knees a little bit. You do not have to go as far as I am. You can grab right here. You're still in triangle. You can go all the way down to the floor. You can go up onto your, onto your pillow if you want to. Do not strain yourself. Okay, come back up. Do not straighten that leg, or do not bend that leg. <laughs> so we're gonna turn into star pose. And this is our wide-legged stance pose. So now we're gonna go down to the floor. If you need to do this with, you know, with control and with your hands, completely fine. So you're just going to bend down and I still can't even do this properly. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like keep your entire foot on the floor, but just come down into this squat. So your leg should be bent. I should probably turn this way. That's a terrible thing. <laughs> so your leg should be bent. Your right leg's bent, your left leg is out. If you think you can do this, because it's a bit difficult for some of us who are down with the fitness, but you should be able to also put your entire foot on the ground. If you can't do that, it's completely fine. I can't even do it. Not yet. All right, come back up. And we're gonna go to the other side now. So you can do it on this side. So weird. All right, one last time on each side. And come back into standing. Now, put your hands to heart center. And we're about to have a little bit of fun. Try and heel toe your feet in a little bit towards your, uh, towards your hips. And we're going to do our Malasana squat. You can squat this low and this will really fire up your, um, fire up your thighs. Or you can come down right here to like this frog. I prefer the frog, it really opens up the, uh, the hips. Feels really nice. You can sway from side to side. Do not, do not strain yourself. Do not go further than you need. Listen to your body. And try and push your legs back with your elbows. So your elbows should be right here on the inside of your legs. Try and push it. And come up, reach up to the sky. Feel to your legs out just a little bit. And we're gonna come down into our wide-legged stance forward fold. Keep your, keep your knees bent. And 
If there are any eager beaters that want to try handstand, now would be your chance. If you do not feel comfortable with handstand, do not do it. If this is your first time attempting handstand, do not do it. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is very dangerous. And if you are in a small confined space, do not do handstand. If it's your first, especially if it's your first time. What you can do if you are feeling very um, ambitious and overzealous today is you can try to bring your head down to the mat. And it should just be the top of your head, so the crown of your head. Okay, come back up. I'm gonna have to go to the other side because that's where we were. Okay, come back up. Put your hands on your hips and hinge up. Very good. Now, arms back out. Windmill the arms down. Frame the front foot. Sweep the leg back. If you want to do a um, uh, a three-legged a three-legged uh, chaturanga, you can. If not, put your legs down, put your knees down, and lower down to the mat. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. If you feel like that was a lot, you can come into child's pose and take a rest for a second. You should really feel down dog right now on your shoulders. Don't allow your shoulders to tense up. Just let them relax. And it should feel, it should feel very interesting <laughs> what's going on in your shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna make our way to the top of to the top of the mat. You can either step um, or hop to the top of your mat. If you hop, please be careful. If you don't feel like hopping is very um, safe, then don't do so. Okay, so uh, halfway lift and fold. Halfway lift, fold. Sweep the arms up to sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep the arms up, hinge at the hips, and back into chair. This chair is going to be different because we're going to be doing some twists. So please bring your hands to heart center. Put your elbow on the outside of your right knee. And twist. If this is not giving you everything that you need, you can fly your arms. And we're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and untwist back to center. Left side, hook that right elbow on the, on the outside of the left, left knee, and twist. And for five, four, three, two, one, back to center, and forward fold. And I'm sure that everybody just gave a sigh of relief whenever they got to fold, huh? Okay, step back, go through your chaturanga. Okay, now left leg to sky, three-legged dog. Bend the, bend the knee, open up the hip. Knee to nose, so bring it through, knee to nose, and low lunge. Again, push forward and low lunge. If, because this is starting to hurt me, if your low lunge is hurting your knee, grab a pillow and put it under that knee.
Again, if you don't need the floor to push off, just push off. Put your foot, put your right foot down at a 45 degree angle. You should be in warrior one. I almost fell, I do that all the time. If you're falling too, welcome to the club. <laughs> okay, warrior two. I'm gonna go into peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Drop down to the floor if you want. Back to warrior two. Straighten the left leg, hinge at the hips, and drop down. Again, if this is hurting your hamstring, bend your leg, or bend, bend your knee slightly. Do not cut it off. Do not strain yourself. Listen to your body. If you feel like you need a break, take a break. Okay, keep that front leg straight. Come back up into warrior two. He'll toe your feet around to the front, star pose. And we're gonna do our leg bends again, but we're gonna be starting with the left side since that's our dominant foot at the moment. So we're gonna bend down. If you've ever watched any other yoga videos, they will say, please push your hands at heart center. I don't think that's true because this is a very difficult stance especially for um, thick ladies. So do not, do not feel the need to keep your hands at heart center just because another yoga video said to do so. Right leg. And please do not forget to breathe. If you feel like you are in if you feel like you are exhausted, you may take a, go into child's pose. If you feel tired and hot, but you feel, um, you still feel a little tight, focus on your breathing and breathe into the stretch. Mentally send that breath of fresh oxygen to your joints. Okay, come back up. And I can't remember what did we do last time. I'm so unprepared. <laughs> oh yes, Malasana squat. So heel toe your feet in a little bit. And squat down. You can either do Malasana squat like this, or if you really wanna fire up those thighs, pull it up here. So that means if you pull it up here, you're gonna to have to stay here. So just open up your hips. <laughs> and come up. Arms out to the side, hinge at the hips, come down into your wide-legged stance forward fold. We're not going to be here as long this time. If you feel like you want to try handstand again, you're more than welcome. Come back up, warrior two, shut up Alexa. Frame your right foot, three-legged chaturanga if you want to. If not, then just put your leg, put your knees down. Go through a normal chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. If you do not want to do a chaturanga, I completely understand. That's fine. You can meet us in down dog. Just skip it. <laughs> Again, listen to your body. Okay, find your way to the top of the mat, stepping or hopping. Halfway lift, fold, halfway lift, and fold. Take the arms up to sky, hands at heart center. 
reach for gap, we're doing chair again. And hinge at the hips. This twist is gonna be a little bit different and I'm going to go through it quickly. So, we're going to bring our hands to heart center, hook that left elbow to the right knee, twist, there's the hard part. If you can't do this, stay in this twist. You're going to bring your left leg back. If you feel like you can't do that without falling and hurting yourself, don't do it, just stay in the other twist. And now bring that left leg back, meet, meet the right, come back to center, and hook that right elbow to the left knee, do the same thing. Again, if you feel like you can't do that without falling and hurting yourself, don't do it. And meet. And then come to center, forward fold. Ah, so much relief. Shake your legs out a little bit if you want. All right, halfway lift and fold. Step or hop back to Chaturanga. Upward facing dog into down dog. We don't have much longer left. We're about to move into our balance portion. I'm just about of breath into you guys. <sighs> okay, now make your way to the top of your mat. <sighs> now, halfway lift, and fold. Halfway lift, and fold. Down to the sky, over the Hastasana. And hands at heart center. Now, I'm going to turn this way so that you guys see what I'm going to be doing. It is going to be a bit difficult, so I'm going to give variations as we go. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lift your right leg up and you can just point your toes, lift it out. If it's not high, it's okay. It can be down to here. Don't strain yourself. Really ground that left foot. And as we go through this, if your left is not as good as your right balance, that's very normal. <laughs> what you're going to do next is you're going to grab that foot with your right hand and place it right here on your left thigh. If you can't reach your left thigh, you can move it down. You can put it there and you're still going to be okay. Once you are in your position, put your hands to heart center and you are in tree pose. If you want to give yourself a bit more of a challenge, it doesn't matter where your leg is, this is just where I like mine. You can fly your arms. The best way to stay in balance is to find something on the wall right in front of you or on the floor just a little bitty spot that's not moving and just focus on it. And that's your jet ski. And if you really want to challenge any eager beavers, you can close your eyes. But I do not recommend. It's only if you want to do it and if you feel up to the challenge. Release the hands, bring them to heart center. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that leg, kick it back out in front of you, sweep the arms down to the side, and we're going into, we're gonna go into airplane. Make sure that back foot is flexed. Again, find a jet ski on the floor and just stare at it. If you fall, that's okay. Catch yourself and then come back into it. If you don't feel comfortable going as far as airplane, you can just go this far. It's all right. 
Come out of airplane, but do not let that foot touch the ground unless you need it to. Like I did, so I could turn. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook that right leg over your left. It does not have, you do not have to curl that right foot around your left leg. Now you're gonna take your left arm and put it over your right arm and you're gonna sit back like in chair. And this is Eagle Pose. You know, America. If you fall out of it like I did, you can get back into it. And for a five, four, three, two, one, release the hands, release the legs, and shake it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a very nice one that's gonna really help, um, really help with that. So, or what we just did. So, make your way to the top of your mat. Let me just get back a little bit. Put your hands down on the mat, but put them out in front of you. Not as close as you would if you were with forward fold. And then we're gonna do a standing split. Try and have your chest meet your thigh. If you cannot meet your thigh, do not make it happen. <laughs> but that should be the goal. Do not worry about your leg being perfectly straight. Now bring the leg down. Put it at a 45 degree angle behind the left. It doesn't have to be directly behind. Bring your arms up. Bring them behind you and interlace them and fold over that left leg. Bring your arms over and you should feel, if this hurts, get out. If this hurts, put your arms down to your side or put them on the floor. But if this does not hurt and this feels great, you should feel it in your shoulders. You should also feel this in your back hamstring. You should also feel this in your lower back. If you don't feel this in your lower back, it's okay. Some people do, some people don't. You're still stretching, it just doesn't, it just didn't need to be stretched. That's what I'll do the teacher used to say. All right, and then release. Come up. <sighs> that felt good. Shake your legs out again. And we're gonna do the other side of tree. So, ground your right leg, take your left leg, and put it on your right, put it on your inner right thigh, or further down your right leg, depending on where you are. Again, bring the, see? Again, bring the hands to heart center. If you want that challenge again, bring your arms up. Or grow some branches. Okay, release the release the front foot. Point it out in front of you. Now we're going into airplane. Sweep the arms behind you. Flex that left foot. Find your dread ski. Find a spot on the floor that you can look at. It's not moving. And focus on it. Bring yourself back up. Pull the left leg over the right. Right arm over the left. Back into eagle. Sit back. And feel majestic. If you fall out of your eagle, it's okay. And then release. Shake it out. Top of the mat again. 
Hands on the floor. Standing split, left leg. Do not forget to breathe. Concentrate on your breath. Try to control your breath. Bring the foot down to the floor, 45 degree angle, just like the other side. Arms up. And, oh yeah, bring them behind you. Interlace your hands. And fold over that right foot. Again, if, if, the, if the arms hurt or the shoulders hurt, listen. Listen to your body. Unravel them. Just put them on the floor. And release. Shake it all out. Come down to your mat. Once you're on your mat, you place your hands in front of you, come into a plank. We're not going to be here long, I promise. I know it's up. Okay, come into a plank, roll your way back into down dog, sweep your, sweep your right leg up, pull it forward, and go into pigeon. When you go into pigeon, make sure that your left foot is um, untucked. And if all of your body weight is like mine is right now and it's on your right, take a, take a pillow, put it underneath you, because what you should be doing is you should be putting all of your body weight on your left side. Once your body weight is on your left side, just fold down. Keep, your, keep all of your body on your left side and you're really going to feel it in that hip, in this hip flexor right here. Kind of feel like you're about to flip over. That's what it should feel like. It should feel like you're about to flip over, but I promise you, you will not. You're just on that. You're, you're just flexing. You're just stretching out that side hip. And come back up, tuck in your back feet. If you can't tuck in your back feet, you don't feel comfortable moving around, get here however you can. But bring yourself back into down dog. Okay, left leg, bring it forward just like the right. Sit on the same side, so sit on um, the right side of the body now. So untuck the toes, so on the right side, Lean forward and just fold. And I'm definitely feeling this on the left side. Oh, pigeon is so good. Okay, come back up. Now, come to your knees. We're going to do bridge pose. Um, you can either do bridge or wheel. 
choose your own destiny. Please do not become overzealous because you feel warmed up and rearing to get. So come down to the mat. Lay on your back. And if you want to do bridge, you're just going to lift your butt up, squeeze those glutes, and hold it here. If you want to do wheel, if you want to do wheel, place your hands by your ears, lift up, and stay in wheel. Do not force yourself to go into wheel. If you want to, if you need to stay in bridge, stay in bridge. Please stay in bridge. It's hard to get out of wheel. So when you get out of wheel, what I do, put your hand, put your head down on the ground first, the crown of your head, and then slowly bring yourself out of it. Now we're gonna do our favorite twist. Lay flat on your back. Take your right leg, drop it over your left, bring your arms out to a T, and look to your right. Try not to let your shoulders come off the ground. If they must, so be it. Another good thing to do is if you feel like your shoulders are coming off the ground, you're not feeling anything in your back, you can grab your other leg and pull it down with your with your left leg. So you can grab your right leg, pull it down with your left to keep it down. And unwind. Switch sides so left leg goes over right leg now. And look to your left. Again, if you need to grab your left leg with your right hand, just to pull it down a little bit, you may do so. Try not to let your shoulders leave the ground. If they must, so be it. And unravel. Lay down however you feel comfortable. You can lay up your hands by your side. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to do happy baby. So just grab, <laughs> grab the outsides of your feet, pull them in, and just rock from side to side. You can stretch out your baby by straightening one leg, bending the other. If that feels good. And now release everything down. You can lay however you want to. Just make sure that you lay on your back, but your hands can be wherever. And then just go into a short, a short Shavasana for about three minutes. So just relax. Forget about the world. Focus on your breath. Be at peace.
Slowly start to bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Keep your eyes closed. Move your fingers and toes to start giving you a bit more of that awareness. Rock to your left or right side, your choice. Place both legs on the side. Move to your fetal position. And make your way to a seated position as best as you can without opening your eyes. Bring your heart to heart center. This concludes a yoga practice, specifically for our client group. If you enjoyed this, thank you for practicing with me. I hope this helps. You should now have a nice yoga high and you'll feel more confident while you are climbing. There are many variations to this and I will make shorter ones for specific warmups. Just let me know if you're interested. And the light in me recognizes and acknowledges the light in you. Please place your hand, please place your thumbs to your third eye and don't stay.